morning. I can't actually believe it's a Saturday morning and I'm wearing gym clothes. <laughs> what is happening to me? But we're going to we're going to Jiu Jitsu like open mat this morning. Usually we would go to a class where they like they tell you what to do. <laughs> so it's not so difficult. But this is gonna be more like you just like turn up and do whatever you want. I sound a little bit apprehensive. But but I thought it would be fun to like take you guys along and um yeah, you can just come on my date with me today. Because I'm having quite an exciting day, really. Yeah, we're going to go do jiu -jitsu this morning. And then I'll tell you more about it later. But both of the dogs have been on, like, house arrest for various reasons this week. Um, so today's the first day that I can actually take them out again. They are very excited about that. <laughs> They've been so cooped up this week. So, no. Not go. Bye, babies. Love you. Alright, you ready? I'll just try and bite. You gotta submit me now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a really good session. Um, it's so weird to like be, um, I don't know, like an adult, like learning new things. Like I was so nervous to go in today. I think as well, like as like more of a grown up who's never really done any sort of like fighting or anything, I think it's quite important to go and learn some just like for your safety in a way. I feel like I would recommend it to people to just go and like, especially ladies, just go and learn some fighting. Be safe. <laughs> Hi. Hi boys. Come around. Come around. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi puppy. Hi puppy. Say hello puppy. jiu-jitsu but look at the pile of washing that it creates every single time <laughs> it's ridiculous right I think um, we're just gonna hang out chill out for a little bit um, and then we've got some dog activities planned for the afternoon so I'll catch up with you then Time to shave a dog. Avi, come. Avi, come. Come here. And I am a very willing participant now that I have treats. If you watched my vlog a few weeks ago where we tested dog treats, these black ones were like their absolute favourite. That's a very important question. Do you want a two or a three? Three! Okay, good boy. <laughs> I'll 
coffee in like the in-between stage because trimming him takes like hours, sometimes multiple days. Like quite often I'll start on one day and then just give up and then like finish him the next day. So he Alfie. Sometimes he hangs out looking like this. <laughs> oh. No, Alfred. He really doesn't look like a domesticated dog, does he? <laughs> Alfie. Oh, I I feel like we're about, what are we like, three hours deep at this point, Alfred? <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it for the day because I'm just getting so so exhausted and like he's so patient but like only to a point and then he just starts to get a little bit like all right I'm over this <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it here for the day look how much has come off of him insane <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna finish him off tomorrow. But the question is like, is it animal cruelty to uh, let your dog <laughs> go out of the house like this? <laughs> I think he pulls it off just. Yeah, so the reason that um, that the dogs haven't been out much this week, I was gonna tell you about it. Alfie started having like a limp. So decided to bed rest him for, well not bed rest him, but like house arrest him for the rest of the week just in case it was like a muscle tear or something just to give it enough time to heal and for him not to be in pain anymore. It's been such a week for the dogs being ill. Harry Haggis was at the vet two days ago. Hello gorgeous boy! You're on the wrong side of your electric fence. How have you managed that? How have you managed that? <laughs> You're so daft. I think this foal is about like a year, a year-ish old because we met him during lockdown, this is just like, he, I don't know who owns him or anything, he just lives in the field next to where I walk the dogs. Um, hi, hi, you're so cute, I see you, I see you little guy. But yeah, so, Harry Haggis poisoned himself, or like a suspected poisoning, and was vomited quite multiple times and couldn't hold down water even, um, so I just took him to the vet and he got an anti-sickness injection which helped him a lot. He was really comfortable after like an hour or so after it. So he was on house arrest for one day after that. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're feeling better, aren't you? You're definitely feeling better, Harold. That's probably like the longest that he's ever not been for a walk. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four whole days. I don't think, I can't think of any other time where he would have not been for a walk for four whole days. <laughs> so he must just be feeling like so free, like he's just out of house arrest, he's just lost half a kilo of fur. The boy's having a good time. Hi, good boy! Hi, how are you doing? Are you feeling good? I don't think I ever actually told you guys about the outcome of the van situation, um, but they fixed it um, and it cost us £1,100, which was a big shock. <laughs> we had no idea it was going to be that expensive. Um, and yeah, and that was still like best case scenario in terms of the fix. So yeah, it's such a bummer. But anyway. Oh dear, 
been a little bit all over the place in this vlog really <laughs> I think it's because like we are just all over the place at the moment like um, Lewis is actually leaving next weekend to go to Canada for five weeks um, and there's just there's he's doing so much organizing and I'm doing so much stressing because I don't like being without him um, and yeah it's just yeah we are a bit all over the place really um, but I'm um, video next week is going to be I'm testing a bunch of like overly sponsored like eco products um, so I'm in the in the the middle of testing all these things at the moment so that's coming next week and then the week after that I think I'm going to vlog like driving because I'm driving Lewis down to London to fly to Canada um, so I think I might vlog that because I'm taking the van and the dogs and everything so it'll be interesting to figure out the van situation in London um, but yeah so do stay tuned for that in the next few weeks um, and do think of me as I'm trying to create two videos in the next week while also working full time and owning two collies it's just going to be so much fun I can't wait <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys all have a lovely week I'll see you next Tuesday uh, like and subscribe and tell me what you think of something <laughs> okay love you bye <laughs>